Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to Unusually Horrid Vlog. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. I hope your day is treating you well. If this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're not new, welcome back. I have decided to do another wig video for you. So I saw this trend on TikTok. It's been a minute. I'm late to the trend. Nothing new there. So the trend is basically you like braid in cat ears on top of your head. So it looks like you have these little cat ears on top. And I think it's the cutest thing. Clearly I don't have enough hair to do what I wanna do. So I've had this wig for a while. In my Halloween live, um, my friend was wearing it as Princess Bubblegum from Adventure Time. I bought this wig for a Pinkie Pie cosplay back when the pandemic first started. And it's cute, it's cute enough, but I've always just thought like it could be better. So there's lots of hair to work with. So I thought, why not give Little Miss Pinky here kind of like an e-girl update. So my plan is to braid in the cat ears, kind of shag it out, make these a little bit more baby bangs because I feel like, I had this problem with the Harley Quinn wig too. If you haven't seen my Harley Quinn makeover, I really highly suggest watching it. I'll put a little card for it here. Seriously, I'm so proud of that. So when it comes to the bangs, I had the same problem on my Harley Quinn wig where like I literally couldn't get them short enough. So the bangs here, like you can see, they go all the way down to her nose. And that's pretty much about where they fall on me. So I want to cut her bangs way, way shorter. I'm going to add some cute little cat ear braids on both sides. And then I'm gonna do the braids first because I'm afraid if I shag it out, the layers won't be long enough to get the braids sturdy enough. So once the braids are in, I'm going to give this a nice shaggy haircut so that it's not so like straight, straight, straight wavy. I want some something to play with. And then I'll style it with some hairspray and We'll see what we can get. So let's give this lovely lady a little e-girl makeover. All right, so I have some essential tools here. I have my back comb brush. I have a regular comb. I have my paddle brush and just a regular wet brush. Now braiding is not my strong suit, but every time I've seen this done, it's just a really simple three strand braid. So I'm hoping against hope that this will be fine. Let's go ahead and face our lovely model towards you guys. And I'm going to attempt to do one of the cat ears. So I'll need a big strand like this. And eventually I'm going to meet it right there in the middle. I have like my little box of hair tools, or not hair tools, but like hair clips and stuff. I'm gonna clip that to the side. So I'm gonna do a three straight brand with this and I'm gonna meet it up kind of here with a little rubber band to kind of set up our cat ear. Then I'm just gonna match it on the other side. I'm like trying to keep this as clean as possible because wig hair can be a little bit messy to work with. I'm gonna try and get this braid as tight as I can to give it as much structure as possible. I wish I had like a proper mannequin stand for this, but this styrofoam head actually doesn't have the hole in the middle. And I don't wanna like break it by trying to put one in there and not doing it right. Okay, so now that I know where about I want to stick the little cat ear, I'm going to tie this braid off with a little rubber band. So 
a little more challenging than I thought it would be, but this hair is pretty slippery. So it kind of just looks like this for now. Now from here, we're going to bend it, find exactly where on the head we need to connect it with another little rubber band. I'm gonna try and brush this smooth so that this can come out as smooth as possible. But this wig hair is really smooth and sticking to everything. So I've got my piece. Let's brush through again. And we are going to connect these right here. We need to pull this strand. We need to pull the unbraided strand as tight as possible while keeping the braided strand as loose as possible. This is going to be a little bit challenging. Essentially, you want your rubber bands to be overlapping. The good thing about this being a wig is I can cut away any of these flyaways. But if that was your actual hair, I really wouldn't suggest doing that. Okay, and just like that, we have a loop that we are going to flat iron once everything is all done to try and make these a little bit more pointy. Okay, so I'm gonna match that on this side and then we're gonna give this lovely lady a nice haircut. Ta-da! Okay, so here's what she looks like before we flat iron them to make them a little bit more pointy, but it's still super cute already. Uh, now I'm going to tackle these bangs. I'm gonna take about this much off and try to make them a little bit more piecey and a little bit more punky. I've got my comb and my shears and let's get into this. So what I just did was I connected the bangs into the framing a little bit. I'm gonna be doing that a little bit more dramatically, but it's a nice place to start. Okay, so I've got our bangs nice and trimmed. Um, from here, I'm just going to start trying to layer this area a little bit more so we can have some fun texture instead of it just hanging super flat. I'm gonna start around here towards the back. So I don't know if you can tell too much on camera, but we've got lots of movement throughout this area now. So I'm just gonna work that around the head until I'm satisfied. Okay, so I'm not quite finished layering her yet, but I was at a good stopping point where I wanted to show you the difference between this side that I haven't layered yet, which is still pretty flat, hangs down pretty much until this curl, versus the side I've been texturizing. So you can see already that we've got some movement throughout this area that we just don't really have on this side. We also have some nice facial framing on this side that we need to match on this one as well. But there's just a lot more movement, a lot more shape, not so heavy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and match this around on this side. Then we'll whip out the flat iron to give these ears some point and style. 
So I've got her like layering all done so it's not so floppy. We have some shape around the face. Now I've got my flat iron heating up so we can get to these bad boys right here. And I'm setting my flat iron to the lowest heat temperature to make sure that I'm not melting her hair. And I'm gonna test this to make sure that it won't melt her hair. No meltage, perfect. So I'm gonna tap it like that first. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to flat iron this without burning myself. No, this is tricky, tricky, tricky. There we go. Oh my gosh, that actually kind of worked. I'm gonna do that a couple times, low heat, just to make sure I don't burn the hair, or frankly, myself. But that's working pretty nice so far, I think. I mean, it's definitely a lot pointier than the other side. Okay, we've got that side done. Let's bring it on to this side. Ah, that is so cute. Okay, I'm gonna work this side to get it a little pointier if I can. Try not to stick my fingers in the flat iron. Cute. Okay, so here we go. I've kind of, if I do it like this, it's a little bit better, which like, duh, duh. But here we go. Okay, so we've got some cat ears going on. I'm gonna take the flat iron now and put in some shape around the face and we will do the big reveal. Okay, I think we're good for a nice, solid coat of hairspray before the big reveal. And here she is in all of her glory. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and show you what it looks like. Just for reference, this is how much hair we took out of the wig without taking any length off. Okay, so this is what it looks like on. I. I'm super, super happy with it. So some final thoughts. Okay, so my final thoughts are good ones. I really like the ears, they're super cute. Almost look foxy rather than cat, which I'm okay with. Other notes are, so as far as wearing this wig now compared to other pink looks that I've done or my Pinkie Pie cosplay, I feel like I can see but I still have bangs and they, they don't sit too high above my actual bangs right now, so that's nice. But um, anytime I've worn this wig, I feel like this entire part of my face is cut off. So like I only have here. And as you can see, this wig is much more open to my face now. The bangs are a lot higher. I should have shown it before of what it actually looked like on me, but that would have been a smart thing to do. Um, but yeah, so this is the final look. I'll probably be wearing this on Twitch every now and then because like, if there's anywhere to wear cute e-girl wigs and cute e-girl makeup, it's Twitch. Uh, all that to say, catch me on Twitch now, you guys. Um, if you missed last week's streams, that's okay. Just so you know though, I am on Twitch at Unusually Horrid and I'll be doing late night Minecraft Mondays starting at like 8 p.m. Western time. And I'll be doing Terraria Thursdays on Thursdays, probably at 6.30 to 7. Um, and some random chats here and there. I've been thinking of doing like a Tuesday morning show, but we'll see. Anyway, 
I hope you enjoyed my little wig styling video. It's been a very long time since I've shown you guys a wig look. It's been a long time since I've even really styled a wig. I didn't really style my wig that much for Elsa. I, I need to restyle that wig. It's been a hot minute. So this is the first wig I've actually messed with that I didn't just pull out of a drawer and stick on my head. And it was kind of nice to get back in there. So. Who knows, you might see more wig content from me in the future. But that's all from me tonight, you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check me out on Twitch, at Unusually Horrid, Mondays and Thursdays. And if you want to be the first one to know when I post, when I go live, any and all of that, don't forget to follow the Unusually Horrid Facebook page. And if you want to see more makeup content, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good life. Unusually horrid out. Okay, bye.